Hey guys, Emma again, welcome back to the spare room. This is a quick little video because I haven't done much for the weekend. Actually, I've been productive, but nothing really video worthy. I've got this ultrasonic machine that I've been sort of troubleshooting. It's got a bit of an issue with its electronics, and I think it might be a a transistor but we're still getting to the bottom of that I've been cleaning a bit too and I've been pretty much hit up with the fact that I've got to take some holidays from work and I will take maybe a week next month to visit Dad in Tasmania and probably do some machine work and I'll take three or four weeks later in the year but I'm open for suggestions on that whether I go to a model engineering show or whether I just go and have a look around or whether I visit somewhere a bit more remote whether I take a train trip across the world really not sure yet but plenty of options still looking into that anyway recently I picked this up and the Ox Tools channel did a, a review or a bit of a look at one of these that he picked up and kind of beat me to it his is probably a bit nicer but certainly a bit older and this is not really a particularly practical piece of equipment. It's, I guess, a spring comparator micrometer, is what I would call it. He had a different name for it. And I think the Michitoyo website just calls it an indicating micrometer. But this is a nice bit of gear. It's in pretty good condition. It's in this box. This is a 510-101A. It's an older micrometer, I would say. It was out of calibration quite dramatically. And I've gone to the trouble of taking some time to set this up so that when you read here at zero, it also reads here at zero. So I guess its main use is for, for testing the sizes of things uh, very accurately. Say for example, take the spanner that come with it. If it was if you're making these and you wanted them at point one point five five millimeters. fairly easy thing to pull this out here or actually push it in to give you enough gap to slide that in and you'll see that that's actually still a bit oversized adjust the tolerance backwards and forwards if we wanted it within point if we wanted that within five thousandths of a, of a millimeter then we could set this one to there and that one to there and put the cap on and while we're checking it we just press the button which moves this anvil it's not a particularly good example because it's different everywhere it's just a pressed in, pressed in component but that's how that works. If you're setting up to measure a quantity of things to the right diameter or the right thickness, it's a fairly useful little instrument. And I've got it really not because it'll see a lot of use, but more because I kind of like vintage micrometers and vintage tool machine tools. So it was at the right price 
and it's a beautiful tool and and it won't hurt in my toolbox it's um someone really wanted it I'd probably swap something for it or sell it but to be honest it's just a beautiful bit of equipment and I thought everyone might like a look so thanks for watching and there will be some more soon there's yeah things happening with the screwdriver project and a couple of other projects that I've got on the go But life gets in the way a bit, so stand by. Thanks for watching, guys.